Yoshida and Fami are going to the extreme measures on actually trying to protect Denji and the control devil so that way they can go ahead and stop the apocalypse of Notre Dame. Because everything that is happening throughout this whole chapter is for them to get powerful enough or to find a way to counter this demon or this prophecy that Notre Dame has where the age of devils is going to take over the world. Because we all know Fami, she just pretty much loves Chinese food, pizza, and all that stuff. So she's doing to the extreme measures on trying to stop this apocalypse from happening. And of course, we see the control devil. She actually declined her offer on trying to help because she had school. And so in the beginning of the chapter, we see the control devil living a normal life, going to school, eating, drinking, just having a time with her classmates as they're whole discussing about all the other kids that are missing from the school thanks to the effect of these devils that's happening throughout the world, especially the fallen devil, because most of these kids are taken out of school thanks to their parents because they're starting to move away. But we see a whole bunch of SWAT teams that's surrounding the control devil as they're just pointing her guns at them. And then the scene just changed. And we later found out that Yoshida actually summoned these SWAT teams to actually bring the control devil. And we see him actually tie up Denji into a chair into the sketch room. As Denji is pissed off, of course, because one, he's with his underwear, and two, he sees Yoshida tie him up. So of course, he just kind of wants to know like, hey, what the hell's going on? And you can't blame Yoshida because Denji is just a wild card at this moment. So you don't know what he's going to do. You tell him a million times, like, hey, don't do this. Hey, stay here, stay here. And he goes on ahead and he goes on his rampage. He goes on ahead and do his own things, especially too, since Fami told the control devil and probably told Yoshida that Denji's not powerful enough to actually stop what devil that's actually is about to happen. So of course, Yoshida has to take it to the extreme measures and pretty much tie down Denji, free Denji. So when he goes on ahead and ties Denji, we see Denji goes to the extreme measures of sus and pause moment because he's very concerned of the safety of his dogs in Nayuta because that just showcased how much he cares for Nayuta and the dogs. And he says that he will eat Yoshida's booty hole for a week if you just take him home. Hey yo, what the fuck? Denji is desperate at this moment and Yoshida just advised Denji like, hey, you're good and the control devil and your dogs are good. But then we focus on the fallen devil because the fallen devil, the events of what went down, we thought that the effects happened at the location where Chainsaw Man and Aza were in. But apparently it affected the whole entire world to the point where it caused so many destructions, landslide, earthquakes. Over 2,000 people had lost their lives due to the effect of the fallen devil. So this fallen devil was really powerful. And we see that Famine was able to control her and summon her because her ability is to able to control anyone who is starving. So that means food or knowledge, mentally, just anything that you're just getting a hunger for. So it doesn't have to be like you're just hungry. So it was a really interesting concept. But we see that Famine, she is with the president of the Demers Hunters Club at Aza and Denji School. And he went on this show saying that, hey, we need to work together with the Chainsaw Man to stop this apocalypse and everything else. And everyone is laughing. And he's honestly is feeling embarrassed and a little bit pissed at Fami because she told him to go on the show and say all of this. And he just feel embarrassed and he just feel laughed at. But then we see a hand approach to the guy saying that to calm down, this is part of the plan. Now, speculations that this could be this could be the second Chainsaw Man that we have saw from the last couple of chapters, the one that saved Denji and Aza 
from the fallen devil and the also the devil that actually attacked Ozzy's friend. But then we see Ozzy, she's in the hospital as she's hearing the reports of what went down from the events of the fallen devil as she is talking to this lady as she says that you remind me of my own child or someone that she knows and that she's just looking at all the destruction that is happening and but she also acknowledged that the chainsaw man saved her twice. So it seems like this is going to be a huge character development for Aza as we can see that she's probably sick and tired of everything that is happening because of the fact that all of this destruction and chaos, but also to how the Chainsaw Man saved her. And she's probably going to look at the Chainsaw Man plus Dingy once she realized that Dingy is the Chainsaw Man a very much different way. And hopefully that conversation with the War Devil and her is going to be very different. But other than that, that's just pretty much the scenario of what happened in this chapter. Just a lot of craziness. And we're going full speed ahead because, you know, Chainsaw Man Part 2, there was a lot of like slow moments, but it looks like we're picking up the pace on how Chainsaw Man is. But let me know down in the comment section how you guys feel about this chapter. Um, let me know down in the comment section your thoughts, theories, or just corrections or anything else. If you guys do like the video, please give it a like, subscribe, and remember, always be decent. This is the Monotone Man, and always be decent and be safe out here. Peace.